When any marriage or de facto relationship ends, the Family Law Act requires both spouses to make full and frank disclosure of their assets for the purpose of any property settlement. The problem is that very often one party has played a much more active role in managing the couple's finances and consequently has a better hold on what exactly is socked away where. So it's not at all uncommon for their former spouse to feel a little vulnerable when it comes to splitting up the property because they just don't know exactly how big the pie is and whether uh, they're getting their fair slice of it. Is their spouse hiding assets from them? Are they getting all they're entitled to? Fortunately, the provisions and procedures of the Family Law Act provide protection against spouses who may be inclined to act dishonestly in those sort of circumstances. Uh, they require both parties to make full disclosure of all income and, earning, uh, and earnings, all property and business interests, including trusts and shares, and any savings or other investments, and to produce documentation evidencing the movement, encumbrance, or disposal of assets or other financial dealings. And a failure to obey court orders to provide all relevant documents to enable that to occur can constitute a serious offence resulting in heavy fines and even imprisonment. So although it can sometimes be a complex forensic exercise to trace assets which have been sought to be concealed, there's always a paper trial and the procedures are there and available to ensure hidden assets can ultimately be tracked down. Music